Let's go over number 1534, count good triplets. Given an array of integers, so we have an integers array of integers, uh, and three integers a, b, and c. So we're gonna be given an array of numbers, and a, b, and c, they're all gonna be numbers too. Uh, you need to find the number of good triplets. So what are good triplets? A triplet is array at index i, j, and k is a good if the following conditions are true. So a good triplet is one that satisfies these three conditions. Um, okay, I think uh, you can just you can go with the first one. And the first one says the absolute value of subtracting the number at index i and j is less than or equal to a. And the second one is this, and third one is this. So these are our three conditions. They all just have to be less than or equal to a, b, and c. Where absolute value of x denotes absolute value of yeah, x. So we want the uh, absolute value. So we want the numbers to be positive. Return the number of good triplets. Okay, so we have our input array, which is this, and we are given three numbers, right? So whatever uh, combinations that we have or we get, it has to be less than or equal to all these three numbers. And possible numbers are uh, given over here. And if you look at our example two, um, we're given a, another array, and it says that none of the triplets satisfies all conditions, meaning less than or equal to all these three numbers. So it's gonna output five. So if we have good triplets, we're gonna increase our um, count variable by one each time. If you guys find this helpful, make sure you guys like and subscribe. Thanks. Okay guys, uh, now let's code our solution. So we have our function which takes in four parameters, array and three integers. And first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a count variable that's gonna count number of good triplets. And I'll just return count here. And next, I'm going to iterate through my array. So for let i is equal to zero, and i is gonna be less than array.length, and increment by one. And I'm going to actually use the array, I mean for method uh, three times because I want unique, um, I want unique different kind of sets, if you say, or combinations. So for let j is equal to i plus one, because you don't want any duplicates, j is gonna be less than array dot length and increment by one. And another for loop, this is going to be j plus one k is less than array dot length and increment by one each loop all right so it looks good and remember that we have to fulfill all these three conditions in order to have a good triplet all right so what we can do is you can use if statements to check all these three conditions and if it's true you can increase the count by one but i'm going to show you a cleaner solution so what i'm going to do is I'm going to make an array called conditions and I'm going to have all my conditions in here so math dot absolute value of array at index i um, minus array at index j and this has to be less than less than or equal to a okay yeah and this condition came from here this is the first one and I'm going to make two other conditions let's just copy these and let's change our condition. This is supposed to be i. This is supposed to be k. This is supposed to be k also. And this is j. Alright, so we have our three. Oh yeah, and this has to be b. And this has to be c. So this is our uh, conditions that we have to fulfill or make true in order to have a good triplet. And, uh, and as I said before, this just came from over here so what you can do is you, you don't have to do this uh, I, I just think um, this is actually more cleaner that's why I did it so we just have all our conditions in here instead of an if statement and now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make one statement over here so if conditions dot index of false is equal to negative one I'm going to increase the count by one. Okay, so what this is basically doing is it's going to check if any of the conditions result in false. 
So if we don't have any false, index of is going to return negative one, right? So if it doesn't find any value that's passed in here, what index of does is it returns negative one. Um, if we did find false, it's going to return the index. So let's say that the first one is false, where when these two are true. So it's, it, it's going to return zero. So it's not going to increase our count by one. But if all of these are true, and if we don't have a false, that's going to result in negative one. And again, that's how index of works. Um, what we're going to do is we're, in, we're going to increase the count by one. So what this does is if all true, increase count. And if we do that, we should get a result. But something's wrong. We get 20 and 10. All right. It got made a mistake somewhere. So we have our full loop. I, J, K, I, J, K, I, J, K. Conditions turn count. If condition index of false is equal to negative 1, we're going to increase our count by 1. Maybe my if statement uh, minus array J is less than or equal to A okay oh my uh statements were wrong so i put the uh, parentheses in the wrong place that's why we got such a different number and you guys probably caught that so if we delete that we get four and zero and that should be our solution so first one four and output zero and there we go um don't be thrown off by this it just simply this is basically our uh, if statement if you don't like this you can chain three if statements if you like but i think uh that's it's just a little bit hard to read that's why i use this one and it's just good to learn uh, new ways to do stuff um, i hope this helped